Today's wardrobe is brought to you by Cold Guy in a Hot Room. Hope you're doing well. I'm going to do an update on quite a few species that we haven't done an update on here in a while. I'm going to let them climb on my little wood. But right before we get into that, I just want to tell you guys something. Real quick. A little, little message of hope, prosperity for your own life. Do what you want. Do what you want. Don't do the things you don't want to do. If you don't want to do something, don't do it. I'm not saying do something dumb. I'm not saying listen to me. I'm saying do what you want. doesn't matter what I say. Time's ticking. If there's something you really want to do, you should be doing it. You shouldn't be letting anything stop you. I don't know how else to say it. Life's too short. What I want to do is I want to show you an update on a few different species we have around here that I haven't shown you in quite some time. Because we had requests for it. And guess what? I love showing animals. And then I, sometimes I forget that people want to see some of the animals we have. They don't have the animals that we have and they'd like to see them. And I like to show them. I take them for granted sometimes. I think, who wants to see that? I get to see this every day. Why would somebody else want to see it? I get to see it all the time. But sometimes I forget. Not everybody has these. So let's check them out. here i told you guys i was going to do an update on her once she shed out and she happened to just shed out today if you watched the video last saturday then you saw her deep in shed this is her not deep in shed this girl this is the sweetest boa on the planet she's a sun glow and she whoa, and her tail goes whap i got her from uh joe consolini a while back opened her up to shedding skin pantera and she shed skin right when she came out of the box. It's the most epic little thing. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's not... Don't go... Don't... All right. This is why I do B-roll shots so that you guys can see her in nice, fine beauty. Because holding her and filming... I don't know how I'm going to get the B-roll shots of all the animals today. Because a lot of the animals today that I'm showing are everywhere from little tiny ones that like to crawl all over the place to big ones that like to crawl all over the place. A lot of ball pythons and a couple of blood pythons I've been showing off recently. It's been easy to film. Uh, today's gonna be a challenge. <laughs> cinnamon sunset ball python and she if i gauged it right just ovulated which means that we'll be getting some eggs from this girl oh i'd say in the next year after she sheds about 30 days after that so a little bit of time but the first clutch of next season should be our very first clutch from a sunset a visual sunset from this pairing we're, we're hoping for some more angie cinnamon sunsets that would be fantastic. And speaking of sunsets, take a look at this, and this, and this, and that. These are the earlier sunset clutch that we hashed out earlier this season. And they're just, they're growing in this way that is just amazing. They they look like, some somebody questioned the other day, like, is, there, is that one calico? There's calico in that, right? I was like, no, that's just the Poss Hat sunset pulling through it's it's uh you know what i think are visual sunsets if you want to take a, a closer look 
at these snakes, a longer gander at those snakes. I'll be posting them on Instagram all, all week. So go follow on Instagram and, and check them out and we'll go from there. Mojave Cypress female is Garkia. I named her Garkia because I got her from Miguel over to Always Evolving Pythons and every time he called Siri referred to him as Miguel Garkia and I just like well okay well since he always made fun of my last name I figured well I'll, Siri made fun of your last name and I'll just use that to name the snake that he gave me which he gave me out of the kindness of his heart thank you Miguel I still I love this girl she will never go anywhere because of the kindness you showed me and I appreciate you, bro. I don't know what to pair Garkia with. I, well, I know that it's either going to be a clown or a sunset so that we can create some Mojave Cypress, either het sunset or het clown. She looks like she's up to size. I just palpated her. Didn't feel any follicles in there. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Would you want to make... Cypress Het Sunsets or Cypress Het Clowns. Hey, if you guys made it this far in the video, could you please do me a favor and whack that like button or or the dislike button if you hate it. Either way, if you could touch it, if you made it this far, you might as well touch either one and, and do something for us or, or just do something for yourself, you know? I mean, it'll make you feel good, whatever you do, whichever one you touch, because we love you or we hate you, whichever one you want, we'll do it. I've got mixed feelings about Junior. I mean, obviously, I, I love Junior. He's a great snake. Uh, he's just... He had all those medical issues before and cost a lot, a lot of money to get this snake well, um, which, I mean, obviously, that's just what we did. And then he also gave my daughter her most traumatic snake bite that she's ever taken. Not that any of that was his fault, but we're being honest here, aren't we? We're being honest? Yeah. So I've, I've got mixed feelings about Junior because of those reasons, but... He's definitely an awesome snake, and obviously he's part of the family. And that's kind of, we, we, do, we do try to, or tend to, treat our animals like, like family here. Otherwise, we would have we offed him a while ago. Um, but, yeah, there he is. I just wanted to give you guys an update on him, because we probably haven't seen him for a little while. And there he is, uh, Motley Golden Child, Reticulated Python, Head Albino. If you guys remember the stories of Junior, well, Leave a comment down below if you remember the different stories with Junior and the, the different things he's been through. This this is one of our more dramatic snakes just based on the things that he's been through and the thing that he's put us through. But absolutely a, a very beautiful and and well tempered python. He he's 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 awesome. He does really well. As long as he doesn't think that there's a chicken to be eaten. Look at that guy go. <laughs> You're a good snake, Junior. No, I don't have chicken. I ate chicken for dinner, okay? But there's not chicken in there for you, all right? You just take it easy there, mister.
another awesome animal you guys probably haven't seen for a while, Dio. Dio the Crested Gecko, who was uh, gifted to us by our buddy Riley for the educational show, which unfortunately we haven't... Oh, well, Dio and many Crested Geckos are jumpers. He Dio hasn't been able to do any educational shows recently because California... Um, you know, is shutting down because of COVID again and again. Schools have been shut down here. At least schools around us have been shut down since March. And that was the biggest place that we would go. You know, sh schools were where we were going the most. And it was kind of a bummer, man. We were just getting started with it. Right as I felt like I was really getting into the swing of things, it was all shut down. No schools, no libraries, which again were our, our bulk of things. We did a few birthday parties, but if you guys watch the channel, you know I, I canceled uh the liability insurance basically waiting for schools and libraries to open back up i wish i knew if there was something i could personally do to get them to open up sooner i don't think there is if there was i would do it but he still has fun here with us and the kids so it's not entirely lost and he, he's an awesome animal look at him look at him licking his lips you'll be hanging out with a bunch of kids in no time Frank, arguably the most beautiful of the two patternless Southern Maralka scrub pythons we have here. His girlfriend Annie is deep in shed right now, so she's she's just gonna hide out. But and you you wonder how? <laughs> All right then. You, you wonder how I can judge? Uh, he's trying to go for the fan. You, you wonder how I can judge two different patternless scrub pythons on their beauty i can i can you'll have to come visit sometime and, and see for yourself the difference between the two patternless and you'll see that i am correct when i say that frank is the more beautiful of the two it's just a fact and i'm not saying that scrub pythons are the birds of the snake world where the male is more beautiful than the female which is true with birds if you guys know anything about birds that's generally the case uh, beauty's in the eye of the holder but birds Males are more beautiful. It's just a fact. I've been pairing him with his girlfriend uh, a couple times this year so far. I haven't witnessed a lock, but I, I witnessed a lock last season, but nothing ever came of it. But I would love to produce some baby scrub pythons because scrub pythons are fantastic. If you've never gotten to mess with some scrub pythons, man, I highly recommend playing with some scrub pythons. They're some of the coolest python species to just like handle and play with and mess with, especially when you work with them and get them like chill like Frank is. And his girlfriend Annie. These guys are just look at this, look at this. He's he's maybe struck me a couple times when he was a little baby, just like when most pythons are defensive as babies. But now, as you can see, I can just stick my hand in his face, and he's just like, dude, can you get your hand out of the way? I'm trying to go places here. Hi, right, Frank. Hi, right, Frank. I hear you. Second to last, but certainly not least, we got our indigo snake, Drymarkon cooperi, eastern indigo snake to be exact, sunset, the red throat phase again, beautiful, awesome dude who was actually the intro snake at a lot of our educational shows because I just, these snakes have been phenomenal. I always wanted to keep one of these guys and when I finally did... It's just like dream snake come true and so I always introduce him as my my favorite snake of all the snakes that I really like and 
get to talk a lot about his cool stuff and i'm missing the shows i'm missing the shows i can't wait to get back to him and bring sunset out there again and let him show strut his stuff hang out with the kids because he's so he's so good like he's so curious and inquisitive and always checking things out and like what's this what's this what's this he's like uh jack from nightmare before christmas that's that's who he is he's jack skellington what's this what's this there's magic in the air what's this i really do not care yeah awesome snake if you ever get the chance to touch an indigo snake, do it. There he goes. We got one more snake to show you guys before we get out of here, but I'm going to need to bring in somebody else to hold her. A perfect time to show off Halo because she did just have a fresh shed last night and a perfect person to show her off, Hillary, because Hillary is named after Halo, other way around. <sighs> Halo, you're a beautiful snake and you're also a handful just because of your size. As much as I said the indigo snakes are my favorite snakes now, this girl is just the most gentle giant of a snake and is just the greatest ambassador for people and snakes because she's so gentle she's so beautiful and she's just a champion of a snake why don't you halo she's the best Well, before we get out of here, I thought we'd just go outside and enjoy some of these nice fall colors. And uh, yeah, I hope whatever you guys are doing today, you're taking care of yourselves, take care of each other. Remember to do what you want. And uh, before we get out of here, I just want to show you real quick, Freedom Breeders got this new product that just came out and uh, it's on the website right now. I know a lot of people have been looking for this, the FB8. It's equivalent to like the V18. Been a lot of people asking, when is it coming? When is it coming? Well, it's here. It's on the website. So if you haven't checked it out, you better check it out quick because I got a feeling they're going to go real fast. But thank you guys for tuning in today's video, seeing all the updates, and uh, we'll see you on the next one, which should be equally as awesome. Y'all take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Bye.